hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is kb5066835 or kb5066128 on your windows 11 computer now the first step is to run these two command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now this will take some time it will run a scan once the first scan is 100 percent complete over here then copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description copy it and once the first scan is 100 percent complete you can paste this command and run the second command and once the second scan is 100 percent complete over here restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to pause and restart the update so you can go to windows update and then over here you can see pause option so you can hit pause update and once it is paused now at the top you will see the resume update option so hit resume updates now once paused now you can click on resume updates over here and then you can check still not working the next step is to start these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on study highlighted and then click on ok now make a right click on app readiness click on restart now find windows update scroll down at the bottom here you can see windows update make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a right click once again and then click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to again automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a right click and then click on restart now once done now you can try to update your windows 11 and then check still not working the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website write down the name of the update that is kb5066835 over here and then click on search now when you try to run up you know troubleshoot if you see retry option uh, you can click on retry over here and then check now for this you can type in winver in windows search box and then cl click on winver run command now over here in my case it's version 25h2 so check the version and then you can go to windows settings and then go to system scroll down click on about option and for me it's 64 bit operating system so for me it's version windows 11 version 25h2 for x64 based system now if you have windows 11 version 24h2 x64 then this is the right one for you for me this is the right one so click on download over here and then you will see kb5066835 click on it and then once the download is complete just click on this file and then follow the on-screen instruction to install this update manually and you can do the same thing uh, with the second update and the same fit the same thing you can search it in microsoft update catalog and then you can install it manually and if you receive these kind of errors uh, if you see retry option you can hit retry and then check now the next step is to use fix problems using windows update now for this you can open windows settings and then go to windows update and then go to advanced option and then go to recovery option over here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done now you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool 
now for this you can open this microsoft link on this website here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see this screen click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here let the download complete this process will again take some time and once the download is complete click on finish over here and let this close automatically it will take few seconds to close and then you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then you will see the setup file make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow click on next over here accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then click on install after the installation you can log into the computer and then try to update your windows 11 and you should be able to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel